My life before surgery was complacent. Before surgery, all I did was get up in the morning, went to work, around three o'clock, my husband and I would try to figure out what was for dinner, and that was the same conversation we had every day. It affected life with my daughter. It affected life with all of our children. I didn't like having my picture taken. I didn't like going into big crowds or especially seeing people that I'd seen years and years ago. It just wasn't something I liked to do. I had lap band surgery. Um, it was a day procedure. Went in that morning. Um, had surgery, woke up. I thought that I was gonna wake up just feeling terrible and I actually felt better after waking up than I did when they put me out. It was really hard. Once I had gained so much weight, um, it was hard to cross my legs. It's something that I didn't even realize was hard to do until I was sitting on my couch it was probably a month after surgery, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is, I'm crossing my legs, and it's, it feels good, okay. That's, that was one of the biggest things that I don't think many people really notice, but when you're a bigger girl, it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> I had gotten to the point in my life where I just, I wore yoga pants and sweatshirts all the time. And now I'm back to dressing the way I love to dress, going places that I like to go to. So it does, it gives you a whole lot more hope on life. I would recommend Dr. Scenario. He is, he's funny, he's personable. He's just, he's a nice guy and he's very down to earth. I can say one thing that that has been heartwarming for me is that my seven-year-old daughter tells me how proud she is of me. And that is something that no one could ever imagine the feeling. So I wish I had done it sooner. So if you're thinking about it, do it. Do it today. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling for people to say, wow, look at you. And I'm like, yep, look at me. Ha, ha, ha.